Hi all and welcome to my video on how to make an axe in 3ds Max. This isn't going to be a long video as it's more about the texturing. So without further ado let's begin. So I'm going to start by making a spline. going to choose a line and it's going to be smooth. So, I'll just zoom out a bit. We're going to be doing it in this viewport for now. So, just draw our artist line. And that's going to be a handle of the axe. So, now you go to the modify list, which is here. So you go to the modify list and you type in sweep and yeah it's set to bar. If it's not set to bar for you, change it. Now you're going to want to go into your perspective viewport and you want to rotate the viewport to the top of the handle you want to right click on the shape and convert it to an editable poly then you're going to want to press 4 to select the end and delete it now you're going to want to select 3 and select the border and go into your scale hold shift and select the line in between the Z and the Y coordinate then you're going to want to extrude this out to about here now go into your move tool and you're going to want to hold shift and move this on the X coordinate. And then you're going to want to cap it. Right. Now you're going to want to make the X head. And to do this, you're going to want to go into edge mode. You want to move this viewport so you can see the square first. And in edge mode, you're going to want to select this edge. And this edge. not that edge this edge now you want to now you want to connect but you want to go into the options first first Q so you can better see the lines and you want to make two lines and tick in fact Let's make them a bit thinner. So we've got two. Now you want to slide it. No, you don't. Sorry. Set slide back to zero. And now you want to change the pinch. Oh, so. Sorry, I've got to select these two edges. Now you can change the pinch. And you want that to be about there. Negative 39. Now you're going to press 4. Select the 
polygon in the middle of the cube and delete. Press free and select the border of the delete polygon. And you're going to want to move it. So press W, hold shift and move on the Y to about there. Now, here comes the fun part, which I love. Because we're going to have to chamfer. You want to make a good angle first. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to chamfer yet. I'm going to make another one, another polygon from this. Cap that then I'm going to jump for it. But first I'm going to select that polygon, delete it, press free. Select the border, hold shift, extrude down on the X, and I'm now going to move this to there. And I'm going to cut. And I'm going to do the same sort of thing to this side. So I'm going to press 4, select the polygon, delete, press 3, select the border, and now I'm going to extrude on the X. Only this time I'm going to make it slightly longer. And now I'm going to move the Move it on the Y coordinate back a bit and it needs to be slightly more back than that side. Now I'm going to cap it. And as you can see it's kind of formed an axe. This is a hand axe, not a battle axe. That's why I'm not doing the same to this side over here. If I wanted to do the same to that side, I'd just make a cube and add a symmetry node, a symmetry modifier, sorry, and then make a handle from the cube. But because I'm making a hand axe, I started with a handle. So, now the fun bit, we're going to be making the texture but first to easily make the texture from this we are going to go over here by I cut over it by selecting the piece, then pressing Z. It brought me over it. 
Right, I'm going to go into my modify list. And I'm going to find Unwrap UVW. I'm going to come down here to Quick Seam to Seams. Select that one. And I'm going to go into Edge Mode. And that's just crashed on me. This is amazing. I love it when computers crash. Oh, it's back. Right, let's try that again. Quick seams. Still nothing. Right, let's go into two. Quick seams again. Yeah, that's peculiar. wonder why I can't select it. It might just be a problem with the modifier. I'm going to try converting it to an editable palette again. And now I'm going to try and unwrap it. I found that sometimes unwrapping doesn't work. So you have to reapply a UV texture to get it to work. Yeah, now it's working. I'm just going to go around here. And I'm going to select the shape. Well, I am going to select the edges around here when this finally decides to work. And for some reason it's working too well now. Right, put the third one on. I've got one more for the handles. <laughs> don't you just love it when this don't work right? Right, I'm gonna zoom out a lot. Hold Alt W. hate it when this happens. Right. Now I'm going to go back to my seams. And instead of that one now, I'm going to select this one so I can get an individual seam. Mm. 
Now I'm going to turn that off. And go back into this. Now I'm going to go here. Can select that edge, that edge, and once again, you can rotate it. You can select this edge. and this edge that should be the unwrapping done now as I promised in fact no not as I promised I don't know why I said that stupid Dylan so I'm gonna go into my UV editor now so I can sort the UV out And as you can see, it's huge. I'm going to press Control A, select all. And now I'm going to peel. See how it looks. Oh, okay. Gonna select four. Oh, I've still got seams on. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna make sure seams is off. Now I'm gonna select and I'm gonna double click so I can get everything inside that seam I'm going to move this that's on a very slow so give it a minute Let's try this again. Double click in there. I'm gonna go to it. Still nothing. So let's undo that. Right, let's move it up there. What the hell's going on with it? I don't understand it.
to my keyboard me charge Right, I can move it. I'm gonna move it to there. How odd. So that's basically it really for my texturing. So I'm gonna right click on anyway. I'm going to render UVW template. I'm going to select a render UV template. No, I'm not because I've just rendered it to a random place. I need to choose my file storage place first. So I'm going to render the object. I'm going to press the three dots next to it. Desktop. Going into my axe. going to change this to PNG because PNG is best I'm then going to save this as X underscore UV you can call it whatever you want. I just like giving things their proper names. So if I ever feel the need to go back to it, I can find it easily. It's probably a good thing to do regardless for when you are working in the industry. Whether that be the games industry or not. So anyway, now I've got my UV, I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to press Open. Desktop. Go to Axe. And I'm going to open my UV. This may take a minute. This may take a minute, but the results will be worth it. Trust me. It is slowly opening up. I mean, you can see I've got my colour palette right here. Oh, it's coming. Come in. It's coming. It's n oh, it's come. Right, I'm gonna make a new layer. I know that layer one's my UV, and layer two is gonna be my black layer. So I'm just I'm not going to bother naming them. I'm going to go to my fill tool and I'm going to make the back layer as black as I can. Then I'm going to go into move. I'm going to go into file explorer and I'm going to go into my X folder. And I've got three textures I've made. Now this one, I'm going to need to do something too. So I'm going to work on this first. Instead of dragging it onto the layers, I'm going to drag it up here. This is basically a new file. And there we have it. Right, what I'm going to do is come down to here. This is my magic eraser. Yeah, magic eraser. Now, what this does is it will remove the white background. So I just have my 
Paul. Just so you all know, inside of each of these tools, there are more tools to choose from. And to access them, you have to hover over the tool and hold right click. And this will show more. Anyway, let's continue. Now I've sorted out the ball, I'm going to continue with this. So, I'm going to go into File Explorer. And I'm going to drag this in. And it's going to go up here. In fact, no, sorry, it's going to go here. Now I'm going to go into File Explorer and I'm going to drag in my wood texture. to go here but I'm not going to drag it over to silver texture because that'll be stupid so I'm just going to make it as big as I want then I'm going to copy Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and there's my texture. Now for the ball. So what I'm going to do in the football is find the texture that I've got silver, and press the I button next to it, and this will hide it from view. That'll give me a chance to get my ball texture. And with the move tool on, I'm going to drag it into my UV texture. And I'm going to hold control and press you so I can change the contrast now I'm going to move this box down a bit so I can see the ball this is up to your preference I'm going to make mine dark And then you just want to move the ball and change it however you want to show up on the texture. I'm going to hold control and press T so I can rotate it a bit. And I'm going to make it about that big and press OK. Now I'm not, I'm going to press control T. And I'm going to scale it in to about that big. Let's see if that fits. No. So I'm going to scale it in a bit more. Press enter, move it where you want. I'm going to go for there. And now go back into your layers 
find the silver and make it visible again. And as you can see the ball logo showing up on the silver. So with all that done, select your two layers or layer one and layer two and delete them. Hold on just to make sure that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. So I'm going to delete them and that's going to give us the texture. Now I'm going to hold control. I'm also going to hold shift and press S. And that's just a keyboard shortcut to save as. And I'm going to save this on my computer, so desktop, axe, save it as a PNG, because as I said, PNG is the best, not bitmap, I want a network graphic. And I'm going to change this from UV to texture. I should probably explain to you all, I don't say PNG is the best out of knowledge, I just think they're the best. I have no idea if they are the best. No, and no. Alright, and now that's all done, so you want to go to your axe, go to perspective mode, here you want to open file explorer which I've closed give me a minute there's my axe texture I'm gonna drag that in and there we go It's a very basic looking axe. It's only a very basic looking axe because I didn't chamfer any of the edges. If I chamfered the edges, it would look a lot smoother. In fact, let's see what happens if I turn both smooth. So I'm going to go into my modify list. Going to type in Turbo Smooth. Oh God, yeah! Oh, that looks so much more sexy. Although I kind of lost my ball logo. Oh well. I'm sure that you lot can fix that yourselves. I have confidence in you. But oh my god, look at the reflection on this. Anyway, yeah, that's my video. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.